Today in this 2017 Chevrolet Malibu, we'll be having a look at and showing you how to install the Roadmaster taillight wiring kit for towed vehicles with an LED bulb and socket. Part number RM-152-LED. Now the reason you're going to want bulb and socket wiring for your Malibu is if you're flat towing it, this is your only option as far as lights that are internal. You can't use diodes on the Malibu because it's a variable voltage system that powers incandescent light bulbs. If you wanted not to have that, your other option is magnetic tow lights. Magnetic tow lights, they're kind of a hassle because they actually can scratch the surface of your paint and you have to find a place to store them when you're not using them. Bulb and sockets, especially these being LED, you don't have to worry about replacing the bulb. They should last the lifetime of the vehicle for you. So it's one less thing you have to worry about. It's a separate bulb from what your vehicle uses from the factory. So even if one of your factory brake light bulbs were to burn out, it's not a problem when you're flat towing it, you'll still be able to flat tow it because the system's unaffected by the vehicle's brake lights. Being LED, not only are they very long lasting, but they're also brighter than your standard incandescent light bulbs. So your tail lights are brighter, your turn signals and your brake lights are brighter as well. This is great because this really alerts drivers that are around you, even during the daytime that this vehicle is being towed behind a motorhome. During nighttime, they'll really be able to see you from a great distance away because they are really bright. And now that we've gone over some features, we'll show you how to get them installed. Now to begin our install, we have our fascia off because we're doing this at the same time as we're installing our base plate. You don't have to do this, but it does help and make it a lot easier. So we went ahead and attached the four pole flat mounting bracket, part number 18144 on our website, to the attachment point for any wiring that comes with our base plate kit. And we're using a Spectra wiring car and trailer in loop, part number 9653P on our website. And we cut off one of the ends. This way we can easily hook up our LED towed vehicle wiring to this. And we have a four pole connector on the front of the vehicle. All right, we'll start off by stripping back some insulation here on all of our wires. Now we'll crimp on some heat shrink butt connectors, which we have available on our website. These are 14 to 16 gauge wire connectors. The reason we're using heat shrink butt connectors is because this is right at the front of the vehicle. So we're driving the vehicle in rain. It will be exposed to water, so these will help protect it from the elements much better than standard butt connectors. Now we'll take one end of our four pole flat wiring that comes with our bulb and socket kit and we'll separate all of our four wires. And we'll strip back insulation from these four wires. And now we'll crimp them together so the white wire will go to the white wire, green wire will go to green wire, yellow wire will go to yellow wire, and brown wire will go to brown wire. Now we'll use a heat gun, which you have available on our website, to shrink down our connectors. We went ahead and wrapped up our four pole flat wiring with some electrical tape, just so we don't have any colored wires hanging out behind our fascia that will be visible. We secured it to the base plate with a couple zip ties, routed it to the side of our radiator, and into our engine compartment along the side of our battery and fuse box. We'll route it to the back later. This is just where we have it for right now. And we went ahead and opened our trunk. Now we need to remove our tail light assemblies on both sides. In order to do that, we undo a couple plastic fasteners to hold our carpet in place. Trim panel tool you can get behind it. And pop it out. Behind the carpet, we'll find three eight millimeter nuts like this that hold our taillight assemblies in place. We'll remove these nuts. Now we can grab our taillight assembly, remove it from the vehicle, and we're going to unplug it. We'll twist out this connector here, pull out one of the light bulbs, We'll twist out this connector here, and we'll pull out the other light bulb. We'll do the same on the other side. Okay, now we're looking at the top of our tail light assembly. We're going to have to drill a hole on the very top of it in this general area here for our bulb and socket to go in place. 
This is the only spot we can do this on this taillight assembly, otherwise we'll have interference issues with the light going into place. I'll be using a one inch hole saw in order to do this. We'll do the same on both lights. Now on our LED bulbs and sockets, we're gonna bend these tabs out a little bit with a flathead screwdriver. And these are what's gonna hold our bulb into place in our taillight assembly. Okay, with those all bent out, we're gonna stick it inside of our light assembly, push it down until it snaps into place. It's now locked into place and it's not gonna go anywhere. Now we're gonna take some silicone sealant, which we have available on our website, and we'll go around the socket. This will help prevent any moisture from getting inside. We'll also go on top where the wires go into because that will be facing up and this will help prevent any water from getting inside that way as well. Make sure we're wearing a rubber glove and we'll make sure we seal all the way around the assembly. And we'll do this on both of our light assemblies. Our four pole flat wiring once it comes up behind our headlight besides the radiator, we go next to our battery box, next to our fuse box, around the strut tower and fuse box, behind the coolant reservoir, and down the firewall. Our four pole flat wiring follows along the firewall, goes above our sway bar and rack and pinion. We secured it to these studs using loom clamps and metric six by 1.0 nuts, following this along the underside of the vehicle. Utilizing these studs, comes over, we have it zip tied to our parking brake cable. This part of the cable does not move, so it's okay to secure it there. We go through the support bracket for our parking brake cable, making sure we keep it away from the exhaust as far as possible. Go above our subframe, in the rear, avoiding any moving parts. Goes above our muffler on the driver's side and then over our bumper support beam. We drop down a pull wire from behind the tail light and we're gonna use this to pull our four pole flat wiring up behind the vehicle. And we'll just pull our pull wire up. Here's our four flat. See, we just attached it with some electrical tape. We went ahead and separated all four of our wires just like we did in the front. Our green wire, we can go ahead and drop back down underneath the vehicle because we're not gonna be needing it on this side, we'll be needing it on the passenger side. Okay, now we have our driver's side taillight resting inside of our trunk as close to our taillight assembly area as possible. We can start making our wiring connections now. We'll start with our brown wire, cut off our excess. We'll hang on to our excess because we're gonna need it to go over the other side. And we'll strip back the insulation on both ends. We're gonna twist them together. Now this kit does come with standard butt connectors. We're opting to replace these with our heat shrink butt connectors that we have on our website, just because this area can get some moisture inside of it being behind a taillight assembly. Crimp these together. And this will go to the brown wire on our LED bulb and socket. Measure out how much we're gonna need for our yellow wire. Cut it off. This will be for our left turn signal and left brake light. Crimp on a butt connector. And this will go to our red wire. Now our white wires are ground. This will go to our black wire. So we're gonna measure off how much we need to connect directly to it. We're also gonna measure off a small section to actually ground our vehicle's chassis. We'll tie the one that goes to our chassis in with the black wire that goes to the bulb and socket. And our leftover, which will go over towards the passenger side, will get tied in with the lead coming up from underneath the vehicle. Then we'll all get crimped together. The small lead that's gonna get grounded to our chassis We'll strip off some insulation and then we'll crimp on our ring terminal. Now we'll use our heat gun to shrink down our butt connectors. 
We'll make sure you're pointing this away from your bumper as you're sh shrinking down your connectors because your bumper is plastic and this heat could actually damage the paint or melt your bumper. All right, now we're gonna drop down our ground wire and our brown wire that need to go over to the passenger side. You'll notice I put a couple extensions in ours. Uh, we do have extra wire available on our website as part number 16-1-1. In case you need some, it's sold by the foot. Wouldn't hurt to pick up about 10 extra feet. It'll be black wire. I just happened to find some colored wire that matches what we had laying around. So we'll use that so it'll be easier for you to understand the video. Now our ring terminal, we're just gonna to attach to our vehicle sheet metal using our self-tapping screw that's provided with the kit. And this will provide our ground connection for all of our lights. Okay, we can reinstall the bulbs on our driver's side now. You simply just twist into place. And with the bulbs installed, the tail light can slide back into its original position. All right, we used a zip tie to secure up any of our slack that we had, and we routed our extended white, brown, and our original green wire over towards the passenger side, going above our bumper beam, underneath this cover here, you can see them right up here by our trunk pan here. We use our pull wire to bring them up out of our tail light housing, and this is where they are now outside the vehicle. So using the pull wire, we were able to bring up our wires behind our passenger side tail light housing area, just like we did on the driver's side. We can start making our connections now. Measure off how much wire we're gonna need, and we'll cut off the excess. Strip off insulation from all the ends. Now we'll crimp on our heat treat bug connectors. Our brown wire will go to our brown on our bulb and socket. Our white wire will go to our black. And our green wire will go to our red. Then we'll use our heat gun to shrink down our connectors. Here's what it looks like with all of our connections made on the passenger side. Now we can reinstall our bulbs and reinstall the tail light assembly. We have the Malibu hooked up to a tester now. If you don't have a tester, you can simply hook up to your motorhome and test your lights that way. We're going to run through all of our functions now and make sure everything's working properly. We'll start off by turning our tail lights on. And as you can see, both of those are working just fine. Do our left turn signal now. Now we'll try out our brake lights. And last but not least, our right turn signal. And that'll complete our look at and showing you how to install the Roadmaster tail light wiring kit for towed vehicles with LED bulbs and sockets. Part number RM-152-LED on this 2017 Chevrolet Malibu.